I've been a big fan of the Fritzbox router for many years now because it offers so many different functions. It's not just an amazing router with great Wi-Fi, it also acts as my telephone system for my VoIP numbers. And this year, they've come out with a new feature where they've combined their smart hub with a router to produce a router that can control Zigbee devices. This is the Fritzbox 7690. This has Wi-Fi 7 in, but I'm most excited about the smart home features. I've not tried that out. And none of my devices are Wi-Fi 7 compatible. I'll have to wait till I get a new phone or tablet. When you open this up, you'll find the usual paraphernalia. You get a cable to plug in your landlines. You get the notes section and it shows you the Wi-Fi password. You get the router and that is the standard white and red look. They've also kept with the cool protective film, which is always satisfying to take off. Around the back are the usual ports. If you've got a Fritz box, you'll be familiar with these. You've got the DSL in, you've got two phone ports, one LAN and LAN 1, 2 and 3. Now I've been using this previous Fritz box for quite a while now. And one of the things I was a bit worried about with getting the new one was what would I do with all the settings? This has got my phone numbers, added, it's got a, an address book built in, it's got the Wi-Fi set up and the password so that all devices connect. But they've thought of that as well. You can very easily export the settings from your old Fritzbox, import them into the new one, plug it in, and you're good to go. It's probably the easiest upgrade I've ever done. I did have to reconnect my phone's base station and also my repeater needed to be connected to the new box. But that was it. It was import the settings, reconnect those two, and I was good to go. It was as if I hadn't got the new router at all until I checked out the new features. To test them out, I've bought three Zigbee products, a Philips Hue, inner smart plugs, and an Osram bulb. I started with the smart plug, super easy to set up. Plug it in, press the button, come into the Fritz box, say to register the device, it will then start searching for it. And once it's in pairing mode, it will find the device and add it to your account. You're then able to give it a more user-friendly name rather than Zigbee One. And you can then use it in automations or control it via the router or the mobile phone app. Okay, so next up, I'm trying this smart bulb. So it says I need uh, the bulb, the gateway, and to download an app. So we're going to be adding, uh, registering a new device. Let's turn the light on. So typically these devices flash or do something to say that they are registering. There we go. Device is now registered, configure. <laughs> that was super simple. Plug it in register the device. They also have an app and the bulb has appeared there. So I can now control this using the app as well. And if we go in, it's even got, oh yeah, we can change the color as well. So let's have a look, okay, with red. <laughs> so this, this is amazing because this completely eliminates the need to buy a separate gateway. It's all just built in, you've got it on your app. And then we can do automations. We can have it come on at certain times, go off at certain times. So I think the next step is to try a Philips Hue bulb and see if it's just as easy to set up. The short answer is no, it wasn't because after installing the bulb and powering it on, I tried to connect it in the same way I had the others. But what I hadn't realized was Philips Hue bulbs are supposed to be super simple to use. And therefore it found my Alexa speaker and used that to automatically connect to my network, meaning it wasn't available to find via the Fritz box. AVM have thought of that though. Each bulb has a serial number on it and you can register a device that's already registered by entering the six digit serial number into the system, pressing start registration, and that solved the problem for me. So the app is super easy to use. You get all your devices uh, listed on it so you can control devices from different manufacturers which is one of the reasons that this really appeals to me because then you can trigger things like scenes or automations using all the different devices together and so we've got the plug I've got a light plugged into the plug and so there we go there's the light on and then I've also got the bulb just behind me and so there's the bulb coming on and we can go into the light so 
This bulb is a multicolor light and I can just very quickly, you see how quickly it's responding, change the color if I want to. And so if I leave it on red for a second, you can then set up uh, different scenes. So in a filming scene like this, I might want it always have a certain color. So if I hit apply, it'll apply the purple color that I prefer. Fritz OS makes it super simple to manage all this kind of stuff. So you've got a devices area, so you can see what the status is. They're all okay at the moment. If I wanted to, I can go into the operation of each, so I can see the plugs off, the lights off, and the bedroom light is off. I can control it remotely from here. You can see the device is connected and the signal strength and you can create templates as well. So the automation side of this is really cool. This is really why a lot of people get into Zigbee. So under automation, you can create scenes or templates. So I've created a filming scene that currently has one template and that template you saw me activate it, it's to set the light to purple. If I had a range of lights or I wanted curtains closing, I would create those templates and then add them to the scene. You can create a routine. So we can say LED lights and we want that one. And we can switch its state, switch the brightness, change to on. If we go back to the back bedroom light, this is the Philips Hue. Again, we can change on and off and we can change the brightness. And for the other item I've got, which is the socket, it's just a simple, change it to on or off. So if the inner plug is changed to on, then the following action is executed. Now that is super helpful if you then take a look at a lot of the other options you can get with Zigbee. You can get things like motion sensors and alarms, and that way if someone trips a motion sensor, you might activate a light. On the AVM website is a compatibility list. You can see they've got a wide range of products. I've only looked at lighting and smart plugs, but you can see they do repeaters, roll blind sensors, button switches, and in-wall modules. If we go down the lighting bit, you can see a large number of the Philips Hue product range. This little info just tells you if there's an issue with it. So for example, on this color gradient light strip, it's without the gradient function, but for the most part, everything is fully compatible. And this is where I found out about Osram as well. So I knew that that should be compatible. And so you can go down, have a little look. There's all these kind of things, you know, roller blinds. So when you activate a movie night scene, it'll dim the lights and shut the curtains. There's loads of different things you could do with this. I'm only just scratching the surface. I've previously covered a lot of the other elements of this interface. It's brilliant. They have wizards to help you out getting things set up. You can run your entire telephone system as I do through this, calls, answering machine, faxes. Uh, you can connect to telephone devices. So I have a DeX phone, it's a DeX base station. You've got parental blocking controls, which are brilliant if you want to restrict access to certain times and cut it off so tablets or phones can't access the internet after a certain time. This is just a brilliant router made even better by the addition of the smart home features. And of course, you're not just limited here to, to that smart app. They actually have a range of apps for controlling your device. You can control the VoIP element with the calls, you can check your Wi-Fi. So AVM have done it again. This is another brilliant router. I love the fact that they've now merged their smart hub with the router. It's one less box to have. And that's one of the reasons I haven't been inclined to get Philips Hue in the past because you typically need to have that control box and it's just another thing to plug in and cluster up the place. By getting this router, I can now very easily connect multiple devices from different brands as long as they're Zigbee compatible. And I'm told that there's gonna be an update in the future. They're looking to try and add Matter compatibility as well. If you want to learn more about the 7690, I'll put a link down below. I'll also add a link to Amazon that will try and find it in your local store, but note it's only in some very select Amazon regions, and so it may come up short.